Okay, this is adding uh, sounds using jQuery. So a couple of things about this. Um, if you look at the example I give you, um, I have a note here. This is the button for jQuery. It is activated by the BO2 class. So that's button two. Um, and you could, again, you could change that to whatever you want. If you just want it to be like anything. Okay, that's just what I had used at the time for like button two. Okay, it also has this top in here. That was just for the styling, so disregard that. And there actually is a new tag for you, button, the button tag. It gives it like a little default styling from the browser. Um, okay, so in that, I just put the word play, like in the button. So then it shows up like right like that, okay? So if we go up, <coughs> excuse me, use this plugin, um, like the last uh, jQuery gallery thing that we did, you need uh, these two folders to make it work. The JS folder and the sounds folder. And if you want to use it, like you can put any sound you want in there. Uh, these are just weird ones that I had before. Um, you can load it all. So this is kind of showing, and you'd have to write this yourself. Um, but you, you just copy and paste this over, but um, this is how you can add them. So um, parentheses, the name of the file, comma, and then just keep going like that. So I've had a student before, you actually done interesting things with this. Like they made a whole site about birds that are endangered, and you could click on their picture and hear their bird call. So you just need to make them as mp3, so save them as mp3s, and I don't think you need to do the og file, but maybe and have both in there, like on the ready. And then leave all this stuff alone, okay? So it's pointing out the path, multiply, true, it just means that they can do it more than once, on the volume, and... This is it here. So whatever you want it to be, so the bell ring, that's where it's like, so it says on click, if someone clicks on anything with the class button two, play the bell ring. All right, so if we were to try that here. Okay, if we wanted to change it, we could. Uh, let me write in here, and it's got to be written the same as the file. So like, beer can opening. If you can hear that little can open. And then I just have some weird stuff in. This is like so old, this little plug-in. Uh, hey, I don't know what those are. You can try them on your own. But let's try setting this up in ours, okay? So I'm going to copy this, all of this, and it goes right underneath the title tag. All right, and the next thing, let's do H2. jQuery. And then I just did a button tag. You can have that say anything you want. So there's the little button. And just give this the class. Of 
Was it capital B? No. And I screwed that. <laughs> I screwed that up so quick. B02. All right. So now, save that real quick. This should work. And it does. Okay, not too bad. I think that's actually kind of an easy one. You want to use it, you just need, again, the JS folder in your site folder and the sounds folder because that's what it's looking for. Okay, I mean, again, you could change that to anything you want, but just to keep things simple, why don't you stick with the conventions that I'm using? All right, and if you want to add anything to this, put it in here. Add it into the list of sounds that are in the folder. For whatever reason, this plugin likes that. Okay, and then it's just on click. And again, you could change that if you want, but whatever. And then whatever sound you want to put in here, you just write. Bell ring. Okay. Um, pretty easy. All right, not so bad. And again, that's what the little plugin looks like, with a little button tag. Let's preview it in the web. There it is down there. It's tiny, but and you can style that any way you want. Okay, great. There's our medium.